Are you secretly resenting one of your parents or maybe even both? Are you kind of longing that they wish that they did, you know, what they did in your childhood differently, that they were showing their love, that they were telling you that they love you, that they were more loving in general so that you would have known that you are loved and maybe you are still holding on to that longing to be loved and therefore you cannot find and connect with your own love if that's you this video is for you i really want to show you the link between not feeling loved and valued and appreciated the way you are and having maybe some luck in your life you know some lack of money lack of success lack of self-love lack of uh, fulfillment because these things are all connected hey i am carolina cummins i am the founder of liberatinghearts.com i am an energy healer and a self-love mentor here to assist you to come back to your heart to actually take back your power and reunite and reconnect with your own love inside of yourself. Okay, so the resenting our parents is maybe something that nobody openly and honestly speaks about because we are not supposed to, we shouldn't, and you know, we should be grateful. And our parents have done so much for us. But secretly, you're actually feeling discontent or even resentment. And you know what? Those feelings are very valuable and very important to look at. Because they are not there for no reason. You know, you didn't just make them up and, and you don't even want to have them really, would you? So they are there for a reason that you need to look at. And the reason uh, why they're there is because it is like a part of you, your inner child, usually very young child, who is kind of frozen in time and she's still sitting there back when she was three or four and waiting to be acknowledged, waiting to be heard and, and, may, and basically loved. And until that happens, usually that feeling of resentment or discontentment or dislike or even fear towards your parent is not going to go. This has been my experience and I want to share with you what I've uncovered recently that's been so mighty powerful that I feel I wanted to make a video about this. So, you know, I have actually my greatest pain if you like in life has been to do with my parents and um, it, it is the case because I always thought if my parents had been able to love me and see me appreciate me understand me and just take me as I am and support me and um, um, you know praise me I would have had a very very different life and there was no big drama or trauma or anything happening that, you know, that I experienced in my life. And it is, it's so, so odd in a way. It's these insignificant, small little as perceptions that we create in ourselves when we are tiny that stay with us until we resolve them. And most people don't resolve them, right? So I want to really highlight this. Now, say... Any kind of resentment that you have towards your mom or dad, notice that. Write out, a, you know, talk about it in maybe while you're writing. Ask yourself questions. So how come I feel resentment towards mom or dad? How come I wish they would be different? How come I hate her for doing this and that? How come I don't like it when she says this and that to me or her, him? And write it out, you know, so become more aware of what you're actually thinking and feeling below the surface story that you tell yourself. And become aware of that you might want to even cover it up, that what you're really thinking and feeling. So the other day, this week, I think it was about a week ago, I actually felt there were some tears that were wanting to come up to the surface within me. 
And I really, really do want them to come to the surface always because I know I need to cleanse all those energies within myself that are not in alignment with happiness, with joy, with ease, with love, with peace. Because if I don't do that, I will, I will basically sabotage myself. I will have energies in me that are holding me back, that are holding back my true light, my love and my infinite being. So I wanted to find out what these tears are all about. And this is what I recommend to be very interested in your emotions. If they feel like something unresolved. And then I went deep. I actually sat down because I wasn't able to concentrate or focus on anything else really. I, fe I really felt guided to give my full attention to this in a um, low, it's like a low feeling. I only just felt low, mm, you know, there was something there that wasn't making me happy. And, and I sat down and I went, I closed my eyes and I really went, went into that feeling. And I came up with my little three-year-old. I saw my little three-year-old and she was radiating joy, so much joy. I could see the joy coming out of her eyes. And opposite, I was, I was looking at my father. He was opposite and he wasn't replying to that joy I was sending him. He was just blank. There was a nothingness coming from him. And I, I felt that's really strange. Why isn't he sending back his love and joy to me? Why isn't he radiating his joy to me? I was asking as a three-year-old. And I really couldn't understand it. And I made the assumption from that tiny little few seconds long event, I made the assumption that I must not, that I am not wanted or that I'm not lovable, that the way I am is not, is not wanted. And it basically, basically stuck. I didn't, I've never experienced this event before. I've had lots of other events that were coming before, after that. So I have to stress here, it, the uncovering often happens in stages. Whatever we are able to get now, we are going to release and then it, something else comes up. And that's the normal way of how things unravel. So getting to this absolute root cause event was so, so powerful. So then I was actually having a conversation with my father and I was, I was trying to contact him and trying to talk with him. He's not here anymore on this planet and, and trying to find out what it was, you know, why was he so, so stone-like? But I didn't get any answers but I, at that moment, but I saw his journey that he had gone through. And, and I remember him telling me that he was never loved. He felt never, he felt never loved by his mum. So how could he possibly show me love, right? So that's the very first thing that you really need to look at. You need to look at your parents' story. Where are they coming from? What can they actually give you? So I, as a child, I was demanding kind of, why don't you love me back? You know, come on, you're my father. You should be able to love me. And I couldn't understand it. Um, and it kind of shut me down. And, you know, what I've learned out of all of this, instead of really asking for love from your parents, demanding it and again and again, if they only had done this and that, this might be the story that is going around in your head. But instead of doing that, because it hasn't gotten anywhere, you actually were there in their lives and in your own lives to be the love that you are. You came in fresh, still filled with love and joy. And your parents had already traveled decades of misery. And they were the ones that actually need, needed your love. So now just, just imagine for a moment, how does it feel if you, instead of demanding and asking love from them, you take yourself out of the picture, the little me, the ego me that wants to be loved, if you're taking that part out of the picture and you're stepping into your full light and your full love and your joy and be that and radiate that energy, then you are absolutely able to give your parent the love that you wanted to receive, right? Because if you do that, if you raise up 
and you step out of outside of that little me who always needs and wants things if you can do that you're not only empowering yourself but also your parents and instantly you actually have that love that you wanted from them because you are that love can you see so all that searching and demanding and disliking and resenting can stop in a minute by recognizing that you were never the victim and instead you were the powerful light and the powerful love who came here to bring more love and light to the planet. But we have forgotten when we when we go through our journey, when we go through our childhood, it's completely understandable that we forget because we get so ingrained and programmed with the outside world and we take on all these perceptions that are not true and they dim our light massively. We probably have to go through that journey in order to learn what it feels like to not be loved. And then make the decision again that we had to come in really into this life to be the love and to be the joy and to emanate it into the world instead of demanding it from others. See, this demanding for love might not have just happen with you and your parents. It's most likely happening in your marriages or your partnerships, your, your romantic relationships too, maybe even with your children or with some friends or with some colleagues, with some clients. When we don't heal this wound with our parents, we are going to have this energy spread all out into our, into our, into our life, you know, in any area. It's you know very individual for us, but when we when we still stay victims somewhere in ourselves, which is never the truth, we are never victims. We are powerful lights. We are powerful in our own love. We can be unconditionally loving, but we have to claim that back. We have to strip away the untruth, the misperceptions, and we have to reconnect and remember our truth then it's quite, it's quite easy to do it depending where you are on your journey. You know, the journey back to your home, to your heart, to your own love is um, in stages. You know, we, we have to, first of all, remember who we are. We have to then uncreate all the un, untrue stuff. And then we have to actually live from our light and embody it. Really be it, be that light as much as we possibly can. And again, that is a journey. So... I want to invite you to go deep when you have a, a resentment, when you have an, an emotion coming up that's kind of to do with your parents or with your partners or maybe with, with your children and to own that emotion and to realize, oh, it's my feeling. Yeah, it's always my feeling. It's not the other person trying to make you feel whatever. Right. So, so don't blame. Don't look outside. The feeling is inside you and it's up to you to go there and meet up with it. And I want to also share with you what happened to me afterwards. Once I remembered that I am the light and I was the one who came here to bring the light. And instead of demanding and wanting something from other people like my father, I actually let all that go. And so once that happened, like it was two or three days afterwards, I went into a meditation and kind of immediately my father was coming to me in this etheric form. He was somehow like ascended, you know, and he was like um, coming from a higher level for sure. He was very illumined and transparent um, and he just came towards me and I there was no words. Nothing had to be exchanged. I knew immediately that I am that love and and that that he never had to give me anything that there, there was this it is so hard to explain there was this immediate shift that 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 was the last little bit that that happened that I am love and I am light and I am joy and I need nothing and once you have experienced that 
you're kind of free. You can always come back to that. And you can always remember that you don't need anything from anybody. And that, of course, is true freedom. So if that inspires you, and if you'd love to hear more about living life from love, which is what my channel is all about, please subscribe. Let me know if you like this video. Ask me any questions. Share any of your experiences. I love to hear from you. And I invite you to check out my website. I will leave the link under, under the video. And to read about the way I work with you if you want to step on that journey of really coming back to your own love and embody your own love, live from your own love. I'd love to meet you and I'd love to hear from you. I'm really looking forward to connecting with you more. Okay, I hope this helped you and please let me know. And until next time, bye for now.